Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Halloween Horror Nights 2022 here at Universal Studios. We're going to be filming inside all 10 houses and scare zones. So spoiler warning, you will see everything tonight. We're also going to be trying some iconic food, some iconic HHN food, and also just having a beautiful Halloween Horror Nights kind of night. Anywho, let's go do this. I am beyond excited for tonight. I love Halloween Horror Nights and Universal Studios actually invited us out to a fan event. So that's why I'm going to be able to film inside the houses. And tonight's going to be the only night that I'll ever be able to film inside the houses. We're also going to be doing an RIP tour. So we're going to be able to show you guys that because that's something that you can actually purchase if you plan on coming. There are so many great houses this year. We have 10 all together, six original ones, and some of the headliners are gonna be like the Blum House, The Weekend. The Weekend's got its own house and I am so excited for that. And then Halloween, and I'm excited for Halloween because I'm wearing my Halloween Roosevelt shirt. I feel like this was very fitting for tonight. And I'm gonna be ranking them all. I'm gonna be telling you guys which one was my favorite. And you guys are gonna be seeing me go through the houses. We're gonna be able to film inside and I'm gonna be able to show you the amazing production value because that's one of the best things about HHN, production value. Halloween Horror Night starts at 6.30 tonight, so Universal Studios Florida closes at 5 p.m. and it is 2.30 now and there are people lined up at the gate already. That is such a cool thing to do, I've done it in the past, but being the first people running through those gates, it's such an awesome feeling. You can wait at the front of the park at the gates like I showed you and it's really fun because they have the special ceremony that happens or if you're an annual pass holder or you have a day ticket, you can actually stay inside the park at this stay and scream. They have several locations around and when the park closes at 5, you get to go in there and wait till 6.30 and you'll have first dibs at the houses and you can run to them and you won't have to wait in line. So either one of those things is actually a really cool thing to do. I kind of recommend doing the stay and scream because it is a fun thing and there's one in Finnegan's too. I ran into my buddy Vincent, Vincent Vision, and he's actually, yeah, he's like the first person yeah. ready to come into HHN. Look at that. I got in at 3 o'clock. I haven't been right at the gate like this I've been over here, but they came up to say hey to Nate. Since 3 o'clock. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, it's a big deal. That is amazing, yeah. <laughs> The RIP tour that I keep talking about is basically a VIP tour for Halloween Horror Nights. They escort you around and give you priority entrance to all the houses. It costs $299 and you actually join up with other people or you can book a private one and this is my first time doing one so I'm very excited. We're also going to get a sneak peek at trying all of the HHN snacks and cool Halloween Horror Nights food items before we actually get to any of the houses and uh, we're ready to go. It's time. Look at it. It's time. All right, we have made it back to Universal Studios, Florida, and it is time. Look at it in there. I can see the fog. I can see the scare zones. We're so close. I'm so excited. He's excited. I'm excited. Nice. It's going to be fun. JoJo's excited. We're going. We're going. We're exciting. <laughs> Now we have made it inside Universal Studios and it has begun. I can hear chainsaws, I can see people running, and I am excited. If you're already in the park, you can meet up with your RIP tour guide here at Cafe La Bamba and they're going to have some food and drink items for you and we're actually going to be doing that right now where we're going to be trying some of the food and drink items from Halloween Horror Nights and then we're going to head out go through the scare zones, go through the houses, and I'm so excited. Like, this is gonna be such a fun night. I see all the atmosphere, it's like I wanna start already, but we have to wait. It's important to eat before you actually go through the houses. Big facts. You gotta have, you have to have a full stomach. No empty stomachs for tonight. Here is a quick look at some of the food that you get to eat actually when you come to Halloween Horror Nights. Now these are available throughout the park at different stands, but we have a little bit of a sneak peek here. We've got the pizza skull, we've got the lentil coffin right here, the uh, churro on a stick, the little boo bao bun. Look at this. It's like butternut squash in a bao bun. It looks really good. We've got some Philly cheesesteaks right here. Lots of good stuff. I'm gonna try the cauliflower. Oh, this is the zombie brains. This is like cauliflower. So lots of good stuff. We're gonna dive right on in. I'm gonna try to eat the pizza skull, but I feel like it's gonna go all over me. I'm pretty positive. Oh, the marinara sauce smells good. I like it. So we're gonna go for it though. Eat a little pizza skull. I know how they make these. They put them in little cake tins. I know this trick, I know. 
Look at that. So good. <laughs> this is actually very amazing. Lots of filling in there. I'm not going to be able to show you guys all of the food and drink offerings, but I'll show you a couple of them and we'll come back on another night where we can actually explore the food. But they have a lot and they kind of got it all out for show for us. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Looks like we got a surprise appearance by Major Sweets here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you handing out candy? Well, you know, you're not supposed to take candy from strangers, but, you know, hey. I can trust you. Look at that face. That's definitely a face that's a trusty face. By the time we finish up in here, it's probably going to be completely dark outside. So we're going to be able to see everything in its full effect. I love that. I love seeing all the lights turn on, the fog in the air, and we're going to be able to go through the houses. Ah! Get out of here, go! We gotta get going. Go, go. Alright, it's time. The RIP tour is about to begin. And you are gonna see us go through four houses. She's gonna actually take us through the four houses in the back of the park. And we're gonna do Universal Monsters, then we're gonna do The Weekend, and then we're gonna do Bugs Ain't Alive, and then Destruction. And I am so excited. I'm very excited to see what you guys think. Let me know at the end of the video what your favorite house is. I think they're gonna break it up, like we're gonna do four houses, take a break, three houses, take a break, and then the last three houses. So it's gonna be pretty fast and non-stop, but I'm gonna try to organize it all together for you guys. One of the coolest fun facts for this house, every night we have a different winner. If you remember for icons last year, we had a different winner every set. That got a bit confusing, everyone wanted to see their favorite. So this year, it's just every night. It can either be the Wolfman, the Mummy, or Dracula. All three can win. All right. I'm Team Wolfman. I got Wolfman on the lanyard. Team I'm Wolfman. Team Creature! Oh. He's my favorite. I do wish that I could find the creature in here because it's always a creature of research. Last season in Bride of Frankenstein. Okay. Yeah! So for our next house, we're going to go around the floor here and guys, the creature of the future entrance, okay? This is Universal Monsters and then this is the weekend over there. The weekend looks like a party happening actually. Look at this. I can't, it's got the, the party atmosphere as you're waiting in line. I'm so excited for that. But now we're heading to Universal Monsters, that's going to be next, and then The Weeknd, and I am so excited because The Weeknd is the one I've probably been most excited for. Alright, here we go.
let me tell you guys, I feel like that's gonna be my favorite house of the night. Like, I love it. I love the classic Universal Monsters. It's gonna be hard to beat that. The smell in there was phenomenal. Like, it smelled like a dead mummy, and the mummy won tonight. I gotta be here one night when I wanna see the Wolfman actually win. When we were walking out, you seen the mummy was holding the Wolfman's head, and Dracula had a stake shoved into him. So, that was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I don't know, maybe maybe Halloween might, type it, might top it, but I think that's gonna be my number one. I'm calling it now. We're walking up the exit now and actually making our way over to the weekend. This is this is the one though, I'm very excited. I hope I can put a lot in, because I might get copyrighted because of all the weekend music, I'm thinking. But I'm sure they might have it change up a little bit. If not, we're gonna, you know, trim and trim a little bit. Or maybe I just might leave it all in. <laughs> little tr trimity trim, trimity trim. We're dancing in the house. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, so excited! <laughs> Look at this! The king! <laughs> oh, look at the party!
Dude, look at this! Oh my lord! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay, I have to say the weekend was honestly really close to taking the top spot for me because I absolutely loved it. I honestly tripped at the end there because when he walked into that room and he seen all of the different characters or the scare actors, I didn't know they were behind me too when I started backing up and one literally whispered in my ear. It was so good, but I don't know. Like I said, well, I'm going to give you the total breakdown, what like at least my top three houses are and my least favorite houses are at the end of the video though, of course. Even though we're not going to be waiting in the standby, I'm going to try to show you guys the wait times of all the different houses. I can see right over here we're looking at a 50 minute wait right now. 50 minutes for destruction. And we're actually going to head in it now. 50 minutes though for a standby. So when you're doing the RIP tour, you're basically walking up the exit instead of walking down the uh, express pass line. So it's completely different. Here we go, Descendants of Destruction, and we're heading down into a dilapidated subway. I've been told there's a lot of jump scares inside this house, so I'm very excited. was nice it started off pretty slow but it came in with a strong finish at the end lots of uh, mushrooms and things just overgrown and I definitely feel like I you know breathed in some things I shouldn't have in there but it was fun but now we're gonna move along we're going to Bugs Eat Alive that's where we're going Bugs Eat Alive 1950s Buzzcon heading on into 1950s Buzzcon There are 35,000 bugs in here, and even a maggot room, she said, so I'm excited. It looks so
can't see anything. Oh, there's strings everywhere. Ah! Ah! I was a big fan of Bugs Eating Alive. There were a lot of things happening, things that were spitting out on you, and it was actually very frightening. Cockroaches everywhere. Like she said, there was like 35,000 bugs in there, not including the ones that sneak in there because it's Florida. So technically, there are real bugs in there because I'm sure they can't keep them all out, but it was frightening, and I think I love it. I Honestly, it's gonna be hard to top that because it was so cool, and I like the old, like, retro 50s feeling because we went to, like, 50s buzz con or bug con and I like that I liked it a lot just to give you guys a heads up right now it looks like Universal Monsters is 55 minutes and the weekend is a 60 minute standby wait so it's really cool to actually be able to do the RIP tour because we skipped those nights we just knocked out four houses in like literally 20 30 minutes now we're gonna make our way over to Hell Block Horror, which I'm excited for, but we're gonna go through another scare zone real quick. And this has been such a fun night. It's like you gotta go, 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 you know? Look at this. I love walking through this part. Ooh! <laughs> Good, sir. Please, I am 
is so cool. All right, it's time for Hell Block Horror now. And this is another house. This is to the front of the park, but I want to point out that on opening night, it was only a 25 minute wait when we walked by. So that is pretty amazing. Hi, friend. Let's do it. Wait, what's this called? Here we go. Hell Block Horror. Hell Block Horror. at the end <laughs> just got out of hell block horror and it was it was like it was okay it wasn't like the best house of the night i can tell you that it might be a front runner for the worst house of the, of the night and uh, it was very dark i don't know i liked how it had a throwback of all the different houses like in the past but i don't know it kind of wasn't my favorite Halloween. Of course, that's the reason why we have it. Excuse the blue lights, but it's time we head into Halloween. It's a Michael Myers time. Oh boy, here we go. Less than eight years trying to reach him, and then an episode trying to keep him locked up because I know that's the
<laughs> oh, that was too good. There were so many Michael Myers in there. That last room, I almost ran into the wall because I didn't know, it was like the mirror wall. I almost ran in there and it was great. Like Michael was popping out of nowhere. I couldn't tell who was real. Like I, I couldn't tell. Were the real Michael Myers, please stand up because that was a little, that was intense. We're gonna jump straight from Halloween over to Spirits of the Coven now because they're right next to each other. And then I think we're gonna take a little break because I think we are at like seven houses already. The, the night's going by so fast. Wow, look at this production value. This is what I was talking about. I like how they have cameras too. got me there. Grandma got me. but I don't know where. 
She definitely did. There was a lot of good jump scares in there. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, that was, a, that was a pretty decent house. That was like not so bad at all. I mean, it was a lot better than uh, the last one we went to. And I like this one, I think, more. I mean, this is gonna be like mid-range, mid-range probably. All right, so far we've done seven houses. Seven houses done already. We still have three more to go. But now I think we're gonna go take a little breather, grab a couple drinks, relax a little bit. Just kind of take a step or a seat take a take a quick peek sit down one of the things I noticed about the RIP tour though is you don't get to really stop and appreciate all the other things because you're kind of on the go 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 but in the long run if you want to get a lot done it's probably the best because then you have free time once the tour is done to come and explore all the different food offerings like I said, we're taking a quick break here. We've already got seven houses done. We still have the Blum House to do, which is really, really, like one I'm looking forward to. We have Chupacabra to actually do too. And it's still looking like Universal Monsters at the top of the list for me. Like I really, really love that. And I love the fact that like there is always a different ending every single night. But who knows, there might be a lot more. And uh, yeah, I'm having the best time ever. Halloween Horror Nights is here. And I cannot wait to come back and just keep doing the houses. Because you can always find things that you didn't notice before. After our little short break, it's time to get back to the houses. Three more to go and I'm excited. Oh. The next house is gonna be Chupacabra, and I'm excited. It's the first all Spanish house, like you said. So, everything, even the writing on the wall. Time for Chupacabra. Oh, it's right there, actually. So, it is a little dark in there.
Okay, that was actually a fun house. There was lots of animatronics in there, and at the end, the chupacabra got me really well. Like, I don't know, I, honestly, that was actually, I think, one of my favorite houses. Like, one of my better favorite off, like, uh, houses. All right, it's time to head into Dead Man's now. We're really knocking out these houses like this. Bing, bang, boom, bong. Yeah, what, yeah? yeah we have uh, Blumhouse. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at this. So cool. Wow, the production value right here. The streets play on the wind like salty spray that tears the flesh. Strings on the wind piercing the cold deep.
That might have to take in my top three, actually. Beautiful in there. Wow. I have to say I love Dead Man's a lot. The production value was phenomenal. The smell in there, it was so cool. Might be a top three contender. Just throwing that out there. Top three. All right, we're gonna be making our way to our last house, the Blum House. But we're gonna be going through another scare zone here. And look at the current wait times for uh, the Chupacabra is a 35 minute wait and Dead Man's is 30 minutes. All right, it's time for the last house, the Blum House. And I'm so excited, it's actually in the Fast and the Furious attraction. And we're heading to it now, last house of the night. And take a look at that, Blum House is only a 25 minute wait. 25 minute wait on opening night. That's so crazy. I'm so excited for this though. It's gonna be awesome, going inside Fast and the Furious for a house. Here we go, last house. Here we go. Time for Blum House. now I like how they separate that that is pretty cool look at that all right let black phone begin pretty cool and I like how it was like two houses in one it was two houses in one like it stopped and then a new one began and I screamed hard actually you know like it, it's not gonna be in my top three but I can tell you I got the biggest scare from Blumhouse it just caught me way off guard and I screamed I hope I caught it on film because I screamed like the biggest like baby in the world one last look though before we go we'll definitely be back We'll be making more videos, you know what I mean? Exploring the scare zones and stuff like that. But tonight, tonight was a win! Yeah! Tonight was a win, guys.
We have made it back to the hotel and what an amazing night. Like I said, I had so much fun. I'm gonna let you guys know my top three houses. My number one overall favorite house was Universal Monsters because I just loved the storyline that they're constantly battling and there's a new winner every single night. Seeing Wolfman's head ripped off by the mummy at the end of that was so cool to me. It was so epic. And then number two, gotta be the weekend. I, I was tough between my third pick and my second pick, but the weekend was just so much fun. It, it felt just fun. It literally felt like a good time. There was jump scares, there was music. It was overall such an, a cool experience. Number three is gonna be Dead Man's. I mean, this had the best production out of any of the houses. It had the best theming. Uh, it's just, I, I, you know, I, there wasn't much scares inside the house itself, but like, it was just so captivating. I think I was walking around acting like Matthew McConaughey, just going, wow, wow. And like, it was really like something else. Uh, the houses I didn't like, at like I didn't like that much was, um, uh, which were called destruction. I wasn't a biggest fan of that um, And then probably oh the, the horror one that one wasn't that great Halloween probably would have came in at number four it had the number three spot for a while I love Mike Myers and there were so many of them in there, but Overall, it was such a great night. So let me know in the uh, comments what your favorite house was. And uh, my glasses are fogging up like crazy. Look at this. And <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you, Universal, for inviting me out. This was such a great honor to be able to do this and show it with you guys. Honestly, I'm so happy that I get to have these opportunities. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.